everybody. If you guys don't know who this is, you better get with it. Um, I'm going to read right from this because this is damn interesting. He's heard it. Inspired at first. <laughs> Listen by the new wave classic. Question, are we not men? Answer, we are Devo. Mr. Dowd began his musical journey in the summer of 1980. The budding 13-year-old singer-songwriter, keyboardist, and trombonist would soon become one of the key musical architects behind the legend. The, the music's nice. Keep going. <laughs> musical architects behind the legendary Lo uh, Los Angeles-based Fishbone, a band revered by his musical peers, including the Minutemen, Jane's Addiction, yeah. No Doubt, and Bad Brains. Woo yeah, that's right. Woo Launching their careers at a time when overproduced arena rock and power pop ruled the airwaves, Fishbone transformed the club scene in the early 1980s and the fresh sound that blended such disparate influences as Sly, as the, as Sly and the Family Stone, Jimi Hendrix, The Specials, and Parliament. During Doubt's time in Fishbone, he and his bandmates released eight critically acclaimed albums and collaborated with the likes of Little Richard, Curtis Mayfield, and Murphy's Law. In his downtime, Dowd contributed to seminal records of the period including Jane's Addictions, Nothing's Shocking, an Uplift Mofo Party Plan, and Mother's Milk from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's very fancy. In 94, he joined his best friend and former roommate, Jeff Buckley, working on him, uh, with him on the CD uh, Orchestra's pu uh, album, Puzzle. Also featuring the likes of uh, Nadea, I'm going to mispronounce that, Nadea Davenport? India Davenport. India Davenport, sorry. The br brand new heavies, just like a, a, you, you wrote this. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is a long list, but um, I don't have to go through it. All right, fine. I'm good. All right. If you guys don't know who this guy is, get with it. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Stout. I don't normally do this. <laughs> That's Steve Berkowitz, you guys. The old friend of mine. Um, wow. Um, I'm going to play some songs for you. And uh, one of them will be a song called What Will You Say? And uh, I wrote it with Jeff. And a um, really amazing drummer named Carla Azar. First of all, before I get carried away, uh, Kristen, wherever you are, in the back. Thank you for having me here. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, I've been silent for a very long time about the Jeff Buckley, Chris Dowd thing. So this is my way of saying hello. Um, the t-shirts in the back are kind of, and this performance are kind of a beginning. I decided to sort of emerge from the shadows and dedicate a record to Jeff, which is probably very, very long overdue. Um, but it's been hard because um, I loved him very, very dearly. And uh, I miss him every day. And this is my way of saying thank you to him. And thank you guys for carrying the torch for me when I really couldn't carry it anymore. So this is really yeah. for this is really yeah. for uh, it's for all of us. So I really appreciate you all being here tonight, and I'll try not to stink up the joint. <laughs> There's a 
just don't feel like I'm a man What will you say when you see my face? My face Can you guys hear me? I love that song. Oh my god. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's one of my favorite songs in the entire world, and I have many favorites. That's really a special one. Thank you. So I just jumped up here. She did. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a powerful song. Really. I thank you so much for that song. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch that one. Um, 
I wrote this other song. But <laughs> it's new, so I don't have to worry. Um, <laughs> it's all in good fun, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> where's Keith Richards? Keith Richards when you need him. Uh, Right. Um, so I think this is my last song. Um, um, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of discombobulated. Uh, but seriously, folks, um, it's called "Long Live the Chief." Yeah. Um, and this is. Jeff wrote a song about me called Dream Brother. And uh, about a month ago, I went on Wikipedia and read what the song was about. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucked me up a little bit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, okay. I'm gonna say something about Jeff right here. Um, There are people in your life that, that come along and they touch your life and they leave an indelible mark. And if you lose them, you will always miss them. It's like you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family, that kind of thing. But you take it and you multiply that. And it is the greatest friendship that I've ever had in my life. I don't know how else to put this shit. It's just, that's what it was. So I figured it's time for me to write a song about him and somebody need to stand up and say a few things. And I'm seeing that shit right now. Do it. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Woo!
She's riding on a new cash cow From the ceiling to the floor The crowd cried out for more Stories of a love Jeff like the banter that went on. Oh, yeah. This was like, you don't know. What about the cartoon character? Well, that was him. The guy can mimic any fucking thing. Like, Bugs Bunny. We did, Elvis <laughs> does the doors. <laughs> <laughs> we had to see this shit. Jeff would grab like a cape from somewhere that he had. Why well, he had a cape? I don't know. The man had a cape. <laughs> He would do Elvis doing the doors, and, and if you think about it, you know, the day this draws the night, and night, and night. <laughs> <laughs> and he, could, he could really nail Elvis, you know. <laughs> I didn't say he literally nailed Elvis. Maybe once. <laughs> Okay, everybody go. <laughs> 
gonna be like some John Lennon shit. <laughs> All we are saying. <laughs>
you're taking all my strength And I was alone And the road seemed to never end But a ray of light came through T-shirts are kind of like this album concept I have called Beautiful Carnage and I'm dedicating this album to Jeff and I'm getting some people that you all know to play on it. Ooh, yes. um, I won't name all the names. Woo! But um, my friend Steve Perkins from Jane's Addiction played on two songs yeah. so far. And yeah. Mike Inez from Alice in Chains. And, yeah. and uh, well, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you guys might know them. They could have played on Grace. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Um, and they're gonna, you know, join me in this uh, collaborative effort into the future. And so this is the beginning. And so this time next year, I hope to play this show and debut the completed album for you in person and let's try it again next year yeah. that being said because i am not Perry carol today <laughs> um i will probably need your help so i'm going to start a kickstarter page and maybe you could send me a dollar or a pat on the back or something but I really need your help because it's important and it's my way of saying thank you. <laughs> so yeah. that's it really. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Oh yeah, and, and, and yeah, Heirloom Music is the label I'm putting it out on, which is me, I'm Heirloom. A little red tomato, very distinct from the others. Um, and. That is it. So you guys can go. Maybe no, no. I didn't say you can leave. I said. <laughs> um, this being on stage stuff is really hard and crazy sometimes. You're good at it. Go ahead. Thanks. Thanks. Um, but um, go online and type in heirloom music, and sometime in the next. 48 hours, there might be something for you to look at. <laughs> or maybe not. Or maybe not. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but do it anyways. And eventually, there will be something there for you to look at. There are three songs and there are demos, but mostly, thanks for coming. Wow.
Right. You gotta shut the fuck up now. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the t-shirts are back there, and please buy one, because I gotta get back to LA. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh yeah, thanks wife. The wife is good. Um, and when you buy a t-shirt, uh, you leave your information, I will send you Long Live the Chief. When I'm done with it. And there you have it. That's all of the gratuitous financial plugging for the evening. <laughs> and mostly thank you and Kristen and Johanna who introduced me to Kristen and, and Ryan for being you. Everybody for being yourselves. Okay. <laughs> Chris down, everybody. Thanks. Thank you so much. And, um, Wow, we've got our first act confirmed for next year. That's fantastic. So definitely plan on being here. We might have to give him a whole out or a whole, whole hour. We did give him a whole hour. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for coming. Kate, thank you. Behind the bar, Howard. Thank you. Uh, Anna at the door. Kristen.